G'day everyone, it's me again. I'm coming to you in glorious 360p. I bought a webcam. Oh, isn't that awesome? Obviously it's not in the box because I'm using it right now. Has a has a lady on the box, which is obviously why I bought it. But uh, turns out turns out she doesn't come with it, so. Oh well. Live and learn. I finally managed to procure the most essential item for living in Germany, the water filter. This is only a three star. It's only a three star water filter. Pretty disappointed in myself. I gotta lift my game. A guy like me, I should be on five star water. But helps with the tea. I bought this teapot in so many places, it's all around the world, like two euros. Avanti, I think, designed, Avanti had designed the, the original one and I think they still sell it. And the one that they sell is like really, really nice, but it costs like literally 15 times the price of this, so. Oh well. Berlin's been good, it's been fun. I've been, um, Working, not working, volunteering at Open Tech School, working on Python courses and um, thinking, proposing about doing uh, work on Git and GitHub for beginners. And I've done a little bit of coaching. I actually uh, had a coaching session on Friday afternoon for an aspiring author who needed a, a web presence and all that sort of stuff. and. Yeah, I'm not the kind of guy who's actually going to do that. Like, uh, I'm not going to, you know, just type out a, a WordPress site for you. Uh, here, and here's how you uh, do a blog and stuff like that. But I did manage to teach him about sort of the various platforms and HTML and CSS and, you know, give him some nice pointers for tools and all that sort of stuff and help him to, to help with his learning and, and all that sort of stuff. So... That was so much fun. That was just, it's, it just feels so rewarding to be able to help people like that. So I think I'd like to continue with that. And I would like to continue with that online, but this video is getting so dark. And I'm so sorry. I, I spent all afternoon messing around with settings to get the absolute perfect quality video. And now the sun's going down and I'm losing light. And I don't have a I don't have an artificial lighting setup that actually that actually works a damn. Let me just let me just try and turn the light on and, and see if that helps. Here we go. Every every time this happens, I have to like change the the white balance temperature, and I'm adjusting like the adjusting the the aperture of the of the webcam. I've got like all the manual controls and all that sort of stuff, and that's basically what I'm doing to just learn, you know, the the crafting of, of web videos and online videos and all that sort of stuff. Bit of advice though, if you're gonna buy a webcam. And you want high quality video like you can just buy pretty basic stuff because all of the webcams uh they say like 720p 1080p you know chat to people in hd like they can't they can't really do it like you, you're gonna get a better quality by using uh 30 frames per second on on 360p than you are doing a five frame per second slideshow at 1080p that then has to get compressed and you just end up with ridiculous artifacts all over the place. So save yourself, save yourself the money and save yourself the bandwidth and just get a simple one. Like there's not really any difference between the simple ones and, and the really expensive ones. And they all have terrible microphones as well. This is, this is the stock inbuilt microphone. I'm looking to get a headset, really nice headset and um, get pretty good audio and to go with with all the the video and stuff like that because it's going to be screen caps and all sorts of 
Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, coaching's a lot of fun, and I really like to do it, and I really like to help people. And there are there are big gaps in the in the community about how to learn uh, programming and and how to work with um, HTML and CSS and all that sort of stuff. There's a lot of self learning, and there's a lot of guides for beginners, like raw beginners, like this is HTML, this is CSS. But there's this intermediate step where it's quite difficult to go from a person who knows HTML in that they know the tags, how the tags work, you open and close them, and then CSS works where you know you have a selector and then you have some properties and stuff like that. But then how do you go on from that? And I would like to talk to, I talk to people and I say, hey, in the industry we use the grid system. Here's, here's three or four grid systems going from you know, really basic, like the Ben Schwartz grid. You know, it's, it's so straightforward. You, you can just paste this in, just use column dash one or something, and you got a one, a one length column and all this sort of stuff. All the way up to, this is a full on framework and it covers a lot of these concepts that, uh, all these extra concepts and all that sort of stuff yet that you might not need right now. But it's got a lot of great Docker, so, you know, browse through if you don't understand it all. It's, it's, it's no biggie, like, the grid system is, you know, disconnected from, from the rest of it. That sort of stuff, like giving a perspective and, and letting people know, hey, this is this is what a programmer does in their day job. You know, we, we type stuff into Google. Like programmers, we spend almost all our day Googling. Googling like, here's a weird error that I've seen. I don't know what it means or like, this stupid library has some stupid syntax, like where's like a basic how to, and then you just use that to like springboard into, into more stuff. And I've been, I've been writing down into my little notebook, like all sorts of, all sorts of things whenever I think up something and all sorts of like different programming languages and all sorts of stuff like that. Like I got a, that, that's just all like programming languages that I could just teach people, stuff that I've programmed in before. So All sorts of neat stuff like that. And I'd like to do it online. I'd like to do it live. I'd like to actually talk to people and chat with people. And I'd, I'd like to record that and put it on YouTube and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's that's my aim in Berlin is to is to become someone who can do that sort of stuff. I mean, I don't have the best equipment. I've got a, a $40 webcam. Yay! And, and I've got an internet connection that's not really fantastic. But um, I've got a lot of time on my hands and I've, and I've got a lot of experience in programming and I've got a, a fair bit of experience in, in presenting and interaction as well. So applying that online, yeah, it, might, it might turn out really, really well. But it's a passion of mine, and it's something that, as I've been traveling and uh, and I've been cycling and all that sort of stuff, I'm just thinking like, oh, man, I really wish I could, uh, I really wish I could get into you know a city or something like that, and then I can actually like work on all this sort of stuff. So it's been like building and building and building and building over time. And now that I'm in Berlin, and there's I have a place to stay for a few months, and there's no there's no money pressure, there's no time pressure, and no one's expecting anything of me then uh, yeah, it's a, it's a perfect time. It's a perfect time to start. So so that's what I'm going to be doing. Now, you know. Well, I hope everything's going well with you guys. You know, type, type, type in the comments if you uh, have something interesting to share. If you want to ask a question or whatever. And catch me online at uh, Skype as well if you want to chat. I should be online most of the time these days. Carpe Steven at gmail.com. So I think it's uh, Carpe Steven is the, is the Skype. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.